Over the years, I played a lot of beat em up games, and for the most part, they are the same. But every now and then, I come across one that isn't so average. That one is Denji Makatu, otherwise known as Guardians. The game was developed throughout the mid 1990s by Wikisoft and published by Band Presto. As far as I know, it was never released to the US or ported to any home console like the original Denji Makai, making this game sort of a hidden treasure among beat em up fans. At least to me anyway. The game lacks any major story or focus. Instead, it just concentrates on delivering the best brawler experience imaginable. Guardians begins with a cool ass introduction that introduces 8 playable characters, where most beat em up games only give you around 3 to 4 characters to choose from. Guardians of the Ante. Each of the characters has their own special move sets that can be pulled off with a slight learning curve. The controls of the game make learning the moves a real engaging experience, as each character comes equipped with a special dash, rolling moves to invade enemies, and special projectile moves at range. Plus, you can learn various button schemes to pull off amazing combos. These combos can be counted with the combo counter, something not often seen in Japanese beat em ups. With this added feature, you're only encouraged to try out more different button combinations. Without a doubt, the best moves to pull off are the screen clearing moves. Sure, they drain health much like other screen clearing moves in beat em up games, but regardless, executing these moves is satisfying. One annoying aspect is having to pay attention to your power gauge, as it does determine which moves you can actually pull off. This gauge does automatically refill, but with the expense of one health bar. I would be remiss if I didn't say how cool the characters were. There's Skull Bayou, the mutant dinosaur who attacks with his tongue and husk. Then there's the powerhouse wrestler Tux, who can perform a number of different grappling moves. Then there's also the busty but deadly Kirokishi, who can freeze enemies at a draw. And by far my absolute favorite character is Garulian, the futuristic cop with laser eyes. If anything, Guardians should be remembered for a sheer variety of selectable characters. All play with the somewhat same moveset, but with varying degrees of combos. Difficulty wise, yeah, this game will kick your ass, but it's not that hard. The stages are relatively short and the boss fights are pretty manageable once you learn their patterns. I should note that Guardians does share some of the more conventional elements you see in other beat em ups, such as gaining health from eating food found on the ground and the annoying but familiar boss rush. But to me, it added some much needed flavor to the beat em up genre as a whole. The game provides wonderful aesthetics on pretty much every stage. The futuristic and somewhat decaying society found in the backdrops of these levels gives the characters and enemies some more depth in the absence of a story. In hindsight, this game probably never needed a story. It's possible that all the creators wanted to do was improve upon the gameplay of the original, which really wasn't that bad at all. What I really find interesting is the many similarities found between the characters and the X-Men. If it wasn't already too obvious, the character Garulian shares a striking resemblance to Cyclops, and Zaldea, well she might be related to Wolverine, and Roll, well he's almost a sheer hybrid of Gambit. Are these just small coincidences, or do they help explain the reason why this game wasn't released in the US? Who knows? More than likely though, this game was never meant to be a major arcade release, as by 1995, beat em ups had already reached their peak in popularity. Another beat em up game such as this one wasn't in demand. Overall, Guardians was a game released way too late and it wasn't allowed to really gain a major fan following. Maybe that's okay. Like I said earlier, this game is a hidden away treasure for beat em up fans. And I doubt this game will ever be released for download on any major console or PC. Hopefully through this video, I can recommend to you, the viewer, to play this one for yourself. So that maybe more people will know about what a wonderful brawler this really was. That concludes this arcade review. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And keep on the lookout for more arcade reviews. This is Bob from Smoking Fiend Productions, signing off. Stay beautiful.